Thank you, Madam President. It is wonderful to see you on that chair. Let me also extend our congratulations on the first ever Swiss presidency of the United Nations Security Council. We also thank your delegation for organizing today's open de debate on a very interesting topic, future-proofing trust for sustaining peace. The three key issues raised in the presidency's concept note for today's debate are, one, inclusion, through equal and meaningful participation of all stakeholders. Two, normative frameworks that eliminate inequalities. Three, facts that draw upon the potential of new technologies to improve council effectiveness. From our delegation's perspective, if we have to future-proof or secure the future, we need to, first and foremost, draw the right lessons from history. Is the Security Council in its present form, which denies permanent representation to entire continents of Africa, Latin America, and the world's largest democracy, can it deem to be inclusive? By making five members more equal than others in this very room, does the Council's normative framework eliminate inequality? Or does it tend to perpetuate it? Will we be able to credibly improve the Council's effectiveness at any stage when it is a fact that we don't even have a time frame for concluding the decadal discussions on Security Council reform? And can we actually be future-proofing trust for sustaining peace through the Council till we arrive at credible answers to these core questions? Madam President, the reform of the UN Security Council is the fundamental starting step towards future-proofing trust for sustaining peace. Multilateral institutions must be made more accountable to their membership. They must be open and welcoming to a diversity of viewpoints particularly from the Global South. The Council must be made more representative of developing countries if it is to continue to engender trust and confidence in its ability to provide leadership to the entire world. It can deliver effective solutions only if it gives a voice to the voiceless. The Security Council should also respect the regional approach adopted by countries involved and work in collaboration with regional organizations to address peace-building challenges. We believe that regional organizations have an important role to play in tackling global challenges with the UN at the core of multilateral efforts. A comprehensive approach focusing on sustainable development, inclusive economic growth, and political processes is critical for peace-building and sustaining peace. India's fundamental approach to peace building efforts is anchored in respect for national ownership and for development priorities of member states. India has always played a constructive and significant role in the context of peace building through its extensive development partnerships with countries of the global south. We continue to assist countries through bilateral and multilateral fora in post-conflict situations through our extensive network of development partnership assistance. Our engagement has been wide-ranging, encompassing key sectors such as infrastructure, housing, education, health, connectivity, and improving livelihoods. India remains unwaveringly dedicated, Madam President, to peace building and sustaining peace. In keeping with the theme of our G20 presidency, One Earth, One Family, One Future, India is committed to forging consensus through the G20 process in the effort to find solutions to global challenges. Thank you.